Hello, and welcome to the Read ASCII String Energia video tutorial. Today we are going to show you how to use non-alphanumeric characters, such as commas, spaces, and periods, to parse information using the serial.parseInt function. For this exercise, we will use the parseInt function to configure the color of an RGB LED. You will need a breadboard, hookup wire, a common cathode RGB LED, three 220 ohm resistors, and a MSP-EXP430G2 launch pad with Energia. Before exploring the code, you will need to set up the hardware according to the schematic displayed. You will need five wires for the circuit. Connect the ground pin of the launch pad to the long ground rail of the breadboard with your first wire. Now, place the RGB LED on your breadboard. Check the data sheet for your specific LED and verify the pins. Connect the ground rail you just created to the common cathode of the LED. With your remaining wires, connect the red anode to pin 3, green anode to pin 5, and blue anode to pin 6 in series with the resistors. RGB LEDs with a common cathode share a common ground pin. Instead of turning a pin low to illuminate the LED, you need to turn the pin high to create a voltage difference across the diode. So sending a value of 255 via analog write turns the LED on full brightness, while a value of zero turns it off. Once you've completely set up the hardware, plug the launch pad into your computer over USB. Let's open up Energia. We will import an existing code example by going to File, Examples, Communication, read ASCII string. First, you will see three global variables for the pins your LED is connected to. These globals help to differentiate between the red, green, and blue variables of your code. In the setup function, we begin the serial communication at 9,600 bits of data per second between the launch pad and the computer. Also, we configure the pins connected to the LED as outputs. In the loop function, we first check to see if there's any data in the serial buffer. By making a while statement, it will run as long as there's information waiting to be read. Next, we've declared some local variables for storing the serial information. This will be the brightness of the LEDs. Using the serial.parseInt function to separate the data by commas, we read the information into the previously defined int variables. Once we've read data into the variables, check for the new line character to proceed. Using the constraint function, we keep the values in an acceptable range for PWM control. This way, if the value is outside the range of what PWM can send, it will be limited to a valid number. Now that the PWM values are formatted appropriately, use analog write to change the color of the LED. We send the value of each LED back to the serial monitor in one string as hex values. And that's it. Once you have programmed the launch pad, open your serial monitor. Make sure you have chosen to send a new line character when sending a message. Enter values between 0 to 255 for the lights in the format order of red, green, and blue. Once you have sent the formatted value to the launch pad, the attached LED will turn the color you specified, and you will receive the hex values in the serial monitor.